I'm going to do an experiment and I, I want to see exactly what happens in the short term. And I'm not going to go overboard, but I do want to, to kind of make it like real life. Like, you know, you're, it's Friday night, you're going out to eat and you have two drinks. Um, I, I don't know exactly what people do, but I feel like, you know, two drinks is, is definitely on the lower end. So that's what I'm going to do. And the things I'm going to measure are some of my sleep metrics, like my my heart rate, my heart rate variability, and just like my sleep score and my recovery score. And those will be measured with my Aura Ring. And I got a test, a test here, uh, a vitamin D and inflammation test. And so what this does is it measures my C-reactive protein in my body. And I've, I have two of them. I'm going to measure it before and then I'm going to measure it after I drink alcohol. The reason I'm doing this, I just want to show the acute things that happen to your body when you consume alcohol. In, in the past, we've seen studies that show that maybe low to moderate drinking might be good for us, uh, but there's more recent studies, a 2023 study. It was a systematic review and meta-analysis of 107 cohort studies with over 4.8 million people in it. They were looking at all-cause mortality and they found no benefit to drinking even small amounts of alcohol. I think they said 25 grams, which is the equivalent to about two drinks. And in fact, they found that for women, uh, 25 grams of alcohol increased um, all-cause mortality. And the number was a little bit higher for men, like 45 grams. Maybe that's three drinks or a little bit more or something like that. I don't drink often. I have drank alcohol in the past. And so I, I, I definitely have a lower tolerance. So take this all with a grain of salt, but, but still, um, I do want to shed some light on what alcohol actually does in the short term. And there is uh, another study that I, I found more recently, a 2022 study that looked at the brain. It was a cohort study, and they found that even small doses of alcohol, that moderate drinking, you know, one, like one to two drinks per day, uh, they found that that had a negative effect on your brain. And we know that it can definitely have some, some bad acute effects, like your decision making uh, executive functioning and that kind of thing. And another thing I, I wanted to, to note before I before I go ahead and do this is the, the whole resveratrol thing. Um, you know, resveratrol is a, is a potent antioxidant that has plenty of benefits, but um, I think this has been debunked a, a while ago. You know, the amount of red wine you would need to get a beneficial dosage of resveratrol is, you know, you would have to drink like way more than you would want to to get that. So I'm going to go ahead here and take this test now. Um, I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you this. It's a. It's unfortunately a finger prick blood collection test. So I'll have to. Um, I'll have to get a grip and, and do that twice. But I'm going to do this now. And obviously, I'm going to have to send this in. Uh, it's an Everly Well test. I'm not, I'm not sponsored by them or anything. But I'll turn that in. I'll turn both of them in. And I'll show you. Uh, I'm going to get some red wine here in a little bit. But I'm going to take this beforehand. I'm going to take it now. I'm going to go get the red wine. I'm going to have it for probably after dinner. I, ha I have kids. I don't really want to have it around them. And then I will go to bed and see what happens. All right, so I'm in my bathroom now. I'm going to open up the test. It's been a, a moderate, uh, pretty light winter over here in, in Minnesota, so I, I don't know how good my vitamin D score is going to be anyways, because it seems like I, I definitely don't get enough uh, sun in, in the winter. So I went out to dinner and I had a glass of red wine with my dinner, and this was at like six o'clock, six o'clock, I think. I feel like, you know, people have a drink or two with dinner. Um, they might have a nightcap or whatever you want to call it. So I had one drink and I'm going to have one more drink and I'm having this Merlot here. I don't know, it's supposed to be um, sulfite free it's from Italy. You know, health, healthy wine, I guess you could call it that. So I'm going to pour it I, I'm not going to be super um, specific about measurement. I'm just going to have about, oh boy, about one drink. I don't know, does that look like one drink? 
Okay, so I'm going to drink this. Um, I haven't brushed my teeth yet. I usually brush my teeth before bed. I'm kind of upset about that. I'll take a sip. It's pretty good. I will finish this and then I'll do another test. So it's 9 p.m. I just finished my glass of wine. Now I'm going to take my vitamin D and inflammation test. I, you know, I feel fine. I, I do, I can feel it a little bit, but like I said earlier, I, I have a very low tolerance. I'm going to do my nighttime routine sort of, and I'll probably be sleeping within the next hour, but I'll check in tomorrow morning and show you the results from my aura ring. Okay, so it's the morning on Saturday, and I'm going to show you the results of my, my sleep. And so I haven't updated them yet. I'm just going to do it in live time for fun. Um, so I'm going to allow my... Let's see here. Hopefully you can see this. So I'm updating my aura ring. I Things to note is that I, I felt like I got good sleep. Um, see if it, sometimes it takes a while for it to update. Okay, this is like the longest it's ever taken to update. Okay, so um, my readiness appears to be quite a bit down. I, my resting heart rate was elevated. Um, my sleep was actually not too bad. See, and I wanted to kind of uh, take out some confounding variables you know, maybe sometimes when people drink on the weekend, they don't get as much sleep or they don't go to bed at the same time they normally do. So I tried to, to do that. I basically went to bed at the same time and woke up at the same time as I normally do. But yeah, my resting heart rate was way higher than normal. Um, 69 beats per minute. It's usually like 60, 61, 59, 58 sometimes. Um, but I got eight hours of sleep, so that's, it took me a while to get to sleep. It didn't feel like it. It felt like I went to sleep pretty quickly. Um, I didn't get much deep sleep. I usually get, uh, an hour and a half at a minimum, sometimes two hours. Um, so yeah, the date before 62 beats per minute, uh, 58, uh, this was on Wednesday, 58 beats per minute. Um, my HRV averaged 53. Let's see. Yeah, okay. So my my HRV was basically cut in half. Um, so pretty pretty bad, especially at the beginning of the night. Gets a little better by the end. Um, but that, I would say that's pretty significant. So, I mean, I'll sometime, yeah, so like 37, that's not great for me. Usually it's yeah, 45, 53, 42. So as you can see from my little experiment, I know this is an N equals one experiment and I have a lower tolerance maybe than, than some people. Um, my sleep was pretty negatively affected. It felt like I slept good. I even got eight hours of sleep, but my HRV, my heart rate variability indicating the higher your HRV, the, the more of a parasympathetic state you've entered, so you can recover, thus my kind of low recovery score. So even though I only had two drinks, uh, and one was like a lot earlier uh, than my second one, I had one with, with a meal at dinner, and then I had my second drink at about 8.30 p.m., and, and that was it. So I took the vitamin D and inflammation test, I think it was about at 4 p.m., before I, I went out to eat for dinner, and then I took the second one slightly after 9 p.m., pretty much right after I had finished drinking my second drink. Yeah, let's see what the inflammation test says. I'll, yeah, that'll probably be in like a, a week or something, but I will uh, stand by and I'll, I'll, I guess I'll be back quickly with the results. So it's been about a week now and I got my high sensitivity C-reactive protein and vitamin D test back. And the results are not significant. <laughs> so as you can see here, 
I don't know if you can see here, my two tests and I'll click on each one. Uh, it said I need to, I might want to look at one marker and that's actually my vitamin D level. So that was kind of interesting. My vitamin D levels are a little on the low end and I got a similar result. Yeah, I got 29.1 on the other test. So very similar. And then for my C-reactive protein test, I got 0.1 milligrams per liter. And so pretty low. And then I, on the other one, I, I also got the same score. So it appears that in my case, at least, um, I didn't see any significant difference in terms of my C-reactive protein, at least. I don't know. Those are just the results. Maybe I should have waited longer to take the until I took the test, um, but I just kind of wanted to, to do it and get it over with. Um, so for my, you know, me personally, it looks like I could use a little more vitamin D. I think overall, uh, especially um, with the sleep aspect, I do think for me, two drinks was enough to significantly hurt my sleep. It hurt my HRV, my resting heart rate, and that combined to make up a like my recovery. I don't know, I'm not saying don't ever drink, don't ever drink alcohol, but I am saying consider drinking less. Um, I, I just, it's not a, a great thing, I don't think. I mean, and people have tons of experiences to show that it's not a positive thing. Um, you know, you hear stories about people drinking and, and drinking too much, and I mean, the only thing that happens is disaster. I don't think anyone's ever said, oh, I drank a ton and it was like, you know, I made super great decisions that I, I will be happy about in the next few years, or I had a breakthrough, or, you know, the important things. Um, and so I think maybe considering drinking less or not drinking at all, if, if you can, I think that's probably the best way to go. I don't think there are any huge benefits to drinking even moderate, small amounts of alcohol. I know, like, I've had friends who have dealt with alcoholism and um, relatives, grandparents, uh, people who have died from it, and I think, I don't know, it's, uh, it's, it's not a good thing for the most part. And I just think we, as a society, need to kind of let it go. Um, there are other ways to have fun. <laughs> I don't know. So that's kind of uh, my message here. And, um, you know, I do, I do want to stay on the science side of things and the evidence side of things. And as you saw with my results from my aura ring, it did have a negative effect on my sleep and my recovery. Um, and if I were to even just have that, maybe I would grow a tolerance over time and maybe it wouldn't affect my heart rate so much. Or maybe um, things would get worse over time and, you know, I would recover less and less. And, um, you know, we know it has a negative effect on your brain. And I, th I just think it's, it's not worth it. It's not really worth it. Um, and that's, that's my opinion. Uh, you know, consult with your doctor. But I hope you'll consider the, the results of this video. I know it's just an N equals one experiment, but I hope it's kind of shed some light on the subject in a small way and maybe will help you to reconsider uh, drinking alcohol. Not to mention, like, you know, it is weight loss. That's one of the biggest reasons you might want to stop drinking alcohol. Um, people who stop drinking alcohol can, can lose weight, uh, lose fat pretty quickly if they want to, or at least that's what I've seen in my experience. So that's the end of this video. I hope it wasn't too long. I'll try to edit it down. Um, but I hope you'll uh, subscribe to my channel. I want to help people who have sedentary jobs or use a computer, like people in tech, anyone who works remotely. I want to help those kinds of people and everybody in general uh, lead a more active life. And I want to provide tips uh, that people can easily implement into their day, things that don't take very long, but um, have a big bang for your buck. Like, you know, don't drink alcohol. It doesn't take much time to not do that, uh, but it can have some significant uh, positive impacts on your health. Have a good one and we'll see you on the next one.